I like to come in my sewing room and go through my scrap box because I always have so many scraps. So from time to time, I like to just look through everything and see if I have enough to actually make a garment without having to go out and buy a new fabric. So I do have quite a bit of this black left. So I think I could maybe get a top out of this, but I did this yesterday and I realized I had some of this leftover velvet looking fabric. I made a pair of pants and a top out of this before and I had enough to make a top. So I ended up making Berta 6109. I made view A. It does have the shorter sleeves. It calls for you to purchase ribbing to go around the waist and also around the sleeves. But since I was just using the fabric that I had on hand, I just made my own bands out of the fabric that I already had. This top has gathers around the sleeves and I really think that that's so cute. And I definitely would like to make the dress one day. I am about to go out of town. So I hope that you will come with me because I do plan to record my little trip. So that's where we're headed to next. We are staying at the Gaylord in Maryland. It's a resort. We just checked into our hotel room. We took an Uber here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do this evening. We're only here for about two or three days, but I'm looking forward to our stay. This is an airport outfit that I like to wear often when I'm traveling. It's just this Nike two-piece set and I paired it with some boots just so that I can be comfortable. And I layered it. So under here is a top. This is a t-shirt that I made. Just a simple t-shirt pattern. I can't remember which one it is, but yeah, I just threw that under there just so that I can be nice and warm. 
So I'm looking at the menu at one of the restaurants here. It's an old Hickory Steakhouse. They close at 1 in the morning. It's 5.30 right now, p.m. So we're both pretty hungry, my husband and I. So I don't know. They do have a lot of salads on here. Seafood. They have a really hearty menu, so they're are a lot of things to choose from so that's good this is the hickory restaurant that we're going to go to we're just waiting for someone to come up to the front to seat us old hickory that's the name of it i think i'm gonna try this roasted cauliflower steak with mushrooms oh no thank you enjoy guys thank, thank you, you. So he said that this is a honey butter and that's a honey comb and then here is my cauliflower steak. next day I decided to wear these Simplicity corduroy pants paired with a sweater that I thrifted a while ago. I bought a new travel bag. It's kind of like a backpack and what I love about it is that it has so many pockets. So the inside it has pockets all around and I like to keep my glasses in here on the sides and then the pocket is really deep so you can get a lot of stuff inside the bag itself it has this little cord for a charger you have a front pocket and then inside this pocket there are pockets <laughs> and then on the side you have a pocket here and a pocket here and in the back there's this little zippered area you can slide things in there and it's just been so nice and convenient to put everything in here and then have my hands free so this has been really really cool i've been really enjoying having this hi do you all have a shuttle that will take guests off the property and then bring them back oh okay and then it'll take you there and bring you back like how often oh great thank you okay bye bye so they have a shuttle that will take us to the tanger outlets or to the mgm Okay, MG is a casino. Okay, and it's every 30 minutes. We boarded the shuttle and we took it to the Tanger Outlet Mall. Once we got to the mall, one of the first stores we stopped in was The Gap. I looked around and I went straight to the clearance section and I didn't really see anything that I just wanted to take home with me, but I did enjoy browsing around the store. Next, we went to Levi's and I saw this dress that I thought was really cute, a nice little denim dress, and it had pockets in the back, which I thought was adorable, but I decided not to get this either. I saw this really cute dress at H&M. I love the color and it looked really simple and I was looking at it for inspiration. I was like, hmm, this may be something to try to recreate. Then we went to Express and I saw this little dress and I was looking at it to see how the elastic was done. I do that often just to check out the details on different garments. I didn't get anything from this store either. We just got back and I actually purchased something and I love it. So we stopped in Hollister and let me take this coat off. Okay, so I picked up a pair of pants. These are so nice. They're sweatpants, but what I like about them other than the fact that they're Sherpa is that they're wide legs. They have pockets in the front. They have a drawstring here. And then they have a drawstring here on the bottom, which is adjustable. It has one of these little things that you can pull and adjust it. 
and I didn't try it on in the store so I'm gonna try them on now and hopefully they fit I don't know if I said it already but I purchased these from Hollister and they were only $19 hey I was like yes I have to have them okay here are the pants I love them oh my goodness I think they are so so cute this is the back they're nice and soft oh I think I'll be wearing these all the time I'm looking out of my hotel window and there's the Ferris wheel. And the Ferris wheel is sitting over some water. It's really pretty, especially at night. I absolutely love Sherpa. So the pants that I bought yesterday are going to match with quite a few things that I have in my closet that are Sherpa already. This is what I'm going to wear today. This is a simplicity sweater. Also in this Sherpa fabric. And I made this a couple years ago, but I really love it. It's very nice and warm so it'll be perfect for today yesterday my mother called me she was so excited and she called to tell me that she ran into my old hairdresser now this is a guy that I used to go to when I was in high school and I asked her if he remembered my name and she said yes he did and she said he even asked her to give me his phone number because he just wanted me to call him so that he could say hi. So I thought that was so, so nice. My husband and I used to live next door to this lady and we moved, but we still kept in touch with her and we moved like not too far away, like maybe a town or two over. So whenever we would have events, we would invite her over. And when I would introduce her, I would say, this is my old neighbor, Tina. And she would always say, I'm not old, I'm not old. And so anyway, I was thinking about that as I was telling you the story because every time I say old neighbor or old hairdresser, I hear Tina's voice in my head saying, I'm not old, I'm not old. Finally all dressed, I have on my sweater, some boots, some jeans and a coat so I won't be cold. <laughs> <laughs> 